Gospel Missions Daru Center is open for business. The new facility offers vocational education and helps men there find work. It was gifted to the UGM by a couple who had a vision to change people's lives through education. KXY 4's Katie Curry working for you now with the inspiring backstory to all of this. Katie? Well, Nadine, Mylan and Gladys Daru gifted UGM around one and a half million dollars to help expand their vocational education program. But why? Well, it goes back to when Mylan was just a kid. Mylan was the son of a sheep farmer and his dad wanted him to take over the business. But Mylan had other plans for himself. Against his dad's wishes, he went to WSU, got an engineering degree and worked for many years at Chevron. He said education changed his life and that's what he wanted for the men at the mission. Before Mylan's death a few years ago, he and his second wife Gladys would serve food at the men's shelter together where Gladys grew to share the same passion for UGN. It's amazing, it really is, to see something that I didn't ever think of. When I got my first advertisement from UGM, I didn't know what it was. So I threw it in the wastebasket. I had no idea what it was. UGM needs to end homelessness. You've got to find people employment. And that's what the Vocational Education Center is about. I just think it's exciting that the impact one couple has had on changing homeless men and women's lives and the countless number of years that this will be a blessing. The new building has a fully equipped video and audio recording studio, four classrooms and a large multi-purpose room. Here are four things to know about the new Daru Center. The new building has expanded their number of computer learning stations from 8 to 25. Last year, UGM helped 169 people find jobs through their vocational education program. The new facility will help increase that number. The vocational center helps prepare men for college and career, career fields they wish to pursue. The new center is also a place for men who need emergency shelter to come and find jobs. UGM says the classroom is already serving its purpose. Men are currently taking classes in the new building to help them build a new life. Also, tomorrow is Gladys's birthday. She is going to be 98 years old. We want to wish her a very happy birthday. Reporting live in studio tonight, Katie Curry, KXLY 4 News. Great story.